Well, howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here. It is March 26, 2024, Tuesday afternoon at probably about 3-ish, I think. So anyway, thought I'd come on here and do a quick video. You hear Zuzu B in the background barking at Brad. Brad has her outside. So anyway, um... Went to the doctor yesterday. I do not like that doctor. And come to find out, she's just a temporary. Which, thank goodness. Because I already said, no, I'm not seeing that one again. See, our doctor is still out. Been a year. They're not saying what she has, but we're assuming it's probably cancer. And, because they said, well, this is the worst place she could be for an immune compromised person. So... I think that's what it is. She wants to come back really bad, but she just can't. So, that was sad, but this doctor was so rude. This doctor had all the personality of a rock. And, I mean, she had no bedside manner at all. Her bedside manner never even attached with her. Um, she comes in and she's like, so what are you here for? Not, hi, I'm, you know, whoever. What are you here for? check up and to talk about my depression so the big thing that she was honed in on was you know the pain meds are they're making new rules and stuff um and so you have to be tested okay fine you have to sign a contract that you won't take anything else that you won't take anybody else's that you won't get your prescription filled anywhere but where you have listed and you are now, get this guy, you're going to now be drug tested. We've been on these meds for a couple of years. We never asked for more. You really think we're drug, drug druggies? Now I know that you can't put a label on and it, people all different walks of life, but it's like, really? I took... A lot of offense to that. Um, yeah, she was so rude and abrupt. And to get this, guys, I don't know if I told you that last time I saw the PA, she would tell me how I had heart disease. Oh, yeah, it's in my thing. I have heart disease. I have heart failure. I'm like, really? Now, not the last... No, not, it was a time after Tallahassee that I was in the hospital that they were doing all these tests on my heart. I, 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 I excelled. No problem at all. I mean, I have an enlargement in the right side of my heart, and I have a mitral valve prolap, which is not never caused me any problem. What my cardiologist said is, you come back and see me if you're having problems. But then other than that, she didn't see, need to see me again. No medication, no nothing. And I even said that to this PA. I said... Well, don't you think, see, my doctor has never said anything, a word to me about it. No doctors that have seen me have ever said a word about it. I've seen on call, I've seen hematologists, I've seen um, nephrologists, urologists. I saw a lung doctor, I saw the cardiologist. I mean, I've been through it, right? I've seen the OBGYN, I've seen everybody, right? So I'm like, don't you think she would have said something to me? Don't you think she, I would have been put on some kind of medication? Well, you need to get in and get tested right away. And do you know that I elected at that point in time, I was so upset that I was just not going to do it, right? I'm like, no, I'm just not going to do that. Excuse me, i got to turn the fan on. I'm just not going to do that. I just didn't feel like it was right, and it was going to cost me thousands of dollars worth of tests that weren't necessary. I, I knew they were not necessary. I work out all the time. If I had a heart problem, I'd know. And, and I mean, not necessarily always, but still. So, she never even mentioned a word about it. The doctor. And I wasn't going to bring it up to her because she'd be in a royal hmm. We did talk about the depression. I am going to start talking more about that. I have Asperger's, um, 
which is, you know, just on the autism spectrum. That should come as no surprise to me, I am, right? And probably why I'm so creative and everything. But, um, so I have that and I have um, depression and I, I have major depression and I have, um, I'm bipolar too. Well, we've never really done anything, any kind of medication or anything for the um, Asperger's because I just never wanted to. I didn't want to be on more drugs. I was seeing a doctor, I can never remember, I think it's psychiatrist, maybe psychologist, whichever one prescribed the medication. He had me on so much stuff I couldn't tell you. I had, I was literally on uppers and downers and all arounders and, and I, I don't even remember specific years. Seriously, I'm doing a video. So, yeah, so anyway, I had a bad experience with that. So I haven't wanted to be on a lot of medication, but we did we did add something to help my uh, uh, depression, my, my medication help. See, I'm on um, Cymbalta. So now they've added the Billify to help. And, and I, I don't know, last night it dropped me hard. It's supposed to help you sleep too, and it's supposed to help your antidepressant work better. And I was asleep before Brad, which is unheard of. And I slept hard. So, um, and as you can tell, yeah, I have somewhat of a kind of a cold going on. So, um, that's about all that's going on here. I did work out yesterday. Um, got a clean house today. Uh, Bradley's in. Bradley got his lawnmower in, his electric lawnmower, which he really likes. Um, I think he's getting ready to mow. You can talk. They can't tell that you're you're nodding your head. So, could you nod your head, okay, please? I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> she is. It's starting to cool down a little bit. Yeah. Once I get walking, I'll put on uh, or I'll uh, be able to do the the lawn mowing. Mm -hmm. The little girl was so incredibly wired. Yeah. yeah. But it was good to get her out there. She needed it. She had yeah. to have it. We're talking about, he took Juju B outside for a while because she has to have her exercise every day or else she will drive you insane. She's a young dog. She needs her exercise. And it gets us outside more. So. She about right? jerked me out of the chair, too. <laughs> Again? Yes. She can pull super yeah, hard. For a, I mean, she's only weighs probably about 40 pounds, but yeah. she is. <laughs> there she is. Yeah, you're talking about her. <laughs> I love you, too. <laughs> I know, I love you. She's a good girl, though. Aren't you? Can you, uh... Oh, yeah, well... Glad they couldn't see that part now because yeah. she takes her whole paw down you. <laughs> oh, no. I love you too. Oh, wow. There she had both paws down. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, Dad, be quiet. Right? Are you a happy puppy? Are you happy? Nixie, of course, stayed in and she had to have some treats. Oh, so of she course. did. She, you know, of course. Yeah. You know, that's the thing. If Brad takes Jujubee, just Jujubee out front, um, then Nixie knows. She gets extra love up time, and she gets her favorite trees, which are the soft ones, you know, the jerky ones. And see, she only gets that. So, she really enjoys that time. Yes, she does. <laughs> and the, no, this is not for you. <laughs> this, this is our life. <laughs> no. So, anyway, back to what I was talking about before these people all came in the house. Um, so, I, I'm going to probably start some counseling for the depression also, and I probably might see just a regular, a normal, I, I don't know if it's psychiatrist or psychologist, um, about my medications and stuff, right? I love you too. Are you a good girl? She is a good girl. Did I you know. ask her for a referral or are you just really just going to look for it? I wasn't going to ask her for anything and she didn't <laughs> offer one. I told her I was gonna wanted to start counseling, and she said, "Well, that'd be good." And she was horrible. Brad hated her too. And we have appointments just twenty minutes apart. Normally, they put us in the same room. No, they put us in separate rooms. I felt like I'd be inter interrogated. 
you know, she was telling me about now about how some states can have a, a, a policy, a, 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 you know, and these aren't any heavy duty painkillers, you guys. We're talking Gabby Pen, right? So, um, that, you know, you have, you can be drug tested before you can even start. You have to be drug tested every three months, you know. And who pays for these drugs? Yeah, you know. You know, she got real haughty with me because she said, okay, well, go up there and get your blood work done and you'll have to give a, a, a UA. And I'm like, so what is the UA for? And she said, well, it's to check your kidneys and it's, it's to check uh, for drugs. And I'm like, okay, I was just asking because if it was just about the kidneys, I see a specialist for that. You see, we never even asked. We never even, you know, she never even asked who he was. Who the doctor was. She was horrible. I know. I love this girl. <laughs> well, she told, I know you and I talked about it, but she told me that she was just up here temporarily and that yesterday was her last day. Thank the Lord. You know? I know. I love you. Mm -hmm. She's a good girl, aren't you? Are you a good girl? Aren't you? She's a very good girl, yes, she huh? Is. She's come such a long way, haven't you? Sleeps with me every night. Yes, I woke is. up this morning, I know, to both dogs are laying. I'm a sandwich. Huh? You were laying there and your sister was laying there too? You guys were laying right side by side. Huh? I know. I know. Are you a happy girl? Are you glad you have a, a home? See, every dog wants a chance to have a loving home. Yep. So, you know, some dogs don't get so lucky. If they're not born with papers and they're not born with fancy pedigrees and stuff, nobody wants them. But then there's some people like us. We want puppies. Mm -hmm. We want to give the dogs a chance. Every time she gives me a kiss, I think about Jellybean. Because Jellybean was always, occasionally she would give you one, but she they had done something to her that she was terrified too. And a woman even told me that. She didn't tell me what they did. Yeah, but I know when she'd give you a kiss, she'd always... Oh, I know. Because sometimes she'd forget, right? You know. Um, you know, and... Uh, for Jelly Bean, too. This little girl will never even... If she's gone into heat, it was just a few times. Um, but she's spayed, and she won't have to go through that. You know, we have decided that we're not going to get another dog because um, I would like to go back to work and um, I'm looking at some different options. Um, when we decide, we'll, we'll let you know. But right now, I'm just looking at some different options. I want to get some more weight off um, and continue to get healthy. Um, I want to wait until... I want to have a... a I don't want to do it before next fall. <clears throat> so... Looking at that, and um, because YouTube is nice, but I mean, I've only ever made one check in 10 years, and it obviously I don't make my content just to get viewers. I do it just because I enjoy doing it, and there's a, some of you guys that enjoy my videos and, and can relate, um, you know. So, or even if you're not my age, maybe your mother is. Um, what? It's good for you. It's good for me. It gives me a, ch a chance to see how old you guys going to know about <laughs> the horrible doctor and stuff, you know. And then she acts like she's asking me about the bruises. Because I do have a lot of bruises. I don't know if you guys can see. But I do have a lot of bruises. They're from the dog. She doesn't mean to. She's like you guys saw. She's very energetic. She's very loving and stuff. So she jumps up on you. She doesn't mean to hurt you, but she does. I'm mean, gonna have a bruise over here because she got a little rambunctious and stuff. Um, so, but she was acting like maybe somebody beat on me. I mean, I'm so tired of these doctors that see you once. It makes a grand assessment. It's like really. Oh, she was horrible. She's a no go. Um, so we got another doctor next time. Who knows? But anyway, I've still been doing hats, of course. You guys know I'm always doing hats. Every night I'm doing a hat. Um, 
and um, uh, so I'm doing hat still, and I am, um, I haven't really done anything else. I haven't done anything else, so, um, I've just been busy working out, um, and that kind of stuff. I, I don't even know why. Okay, part of it, okay, honestly, part of it is the, um, the depression and the anxiety. I have severe anxiety that goes with it, um, will keep me literally sitting sometimes in a, a spot for hours not really doing much. I might be playing a game on my phone or whatever, but I'm just kind of transfixed right there. You know, when your head's so jumbled and stuff. So, yeah, I mean, I know some of the stuff for having autism is, you know, making lists and doing a schedule and stuff. And I'm working toward that because I do do best when that's happening. Schedules and lists and, and stuff. So, I'm going to work on that. Always working to improve, you know. <laughs> So anyway, that's what's going on. A lot of reasons I want to go back to work, guys, uh, frankly, is um, we need dental work done, obviously. Hi. <laughs> is that your frisbee? What are you doing with it? Look what you do to it. Can I show them? No, you're breaking it more. You see what she <laughs> But anyway, we need dental work done. The only way we're going to be able to afford to get the dental work done is more income. I need to have dental work done. Brad's teeth are just as bad. He's not missing teeth up front, but you know, all of his molars are broken and stuff. I mean, you know, um, and I know lots of people that way where we're all eating just basically soft food now. So we need to get that done. I would love to go on a vacation with, with, uh, for one time, a cruise um, to someplace warm and tropical. Um, and uh, we want to move. We don't want this to be where we live all of our life. We want to move to a better area. We want to move closer to the beach. I mean, you know, we can't make that stuff happen if you don't have more income. So, you know, and I'm lucky. Brad's at home, so, you know, that'll be really nice. That'll be much easier than working before with the kids and everything else. So, that's what the plan is. Continue losing weight. I've lost 132 now when I went to the doctor, which I was really thrilled about because I haven't been as careful as I was being, and I was afraid that maybe I was started to regain, but no, I hadn't, so, but I do need to be more careful, right? You can start slipping really bad and eating just a few more carbs, and then before you know it, you know, ouch, ouch, ouch. the more carbs I eat, the more... I want to eat carbs, especially flour, bread flour, bread, that kind of stuff. I do okay with rice, and I do okay with pasta. Potatoes, eh. I'm not super fond of potatoes unless they're mashed. But, so, you know, that's just the way it goes. Continue losing weight, continue working out, continue. Oh, blood pressure was great, 120 over 80. My oxygen level was 97. So, you know, that's all good. She said, my lungs sound great. My heart sounds great. Everything's great. And it's like, man, I both have heart failure here. So, anyway, that's all that's going on here. I got a clean house, but I thought I would make this video first before I clean house, you know. So... I want to slowly reduce how much I use this, like reduce the nicotine level. I got to do it slowly because it's really hard for me to do it and lose weight at the same time, you know. That's just being real with you guys, you know. So, you know, and I knew when I quit smoking I would gain a lot of weight again. I always do. And that's why I started right two weeks after that. You know, with the Olympic and stuff. When you can get it. <laughs> when you can get it. So, anyway. I need to get off of here. Tomorrow I'm going to.
do a shipping I, I sold another uh, diamond painting kit that if you're watching that will go out tomorrow thank you very much I enjoy selling it I don't really make anything off the diamond kits you guys got to know that with the shipping and stuff I might make a dollar maybe two but I just enjoy doing it why should they sit here and they're not being utilized and maybe they have a chance of making a new friend and that would be nice that would be so great you know so anyway I love you guys I do cherish your friendship so very much remember do something nice for somebody else and then do something nice for yourself and as always everybody say bye Brad bye guys <laughs>